Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Cancer. Cancer, this is your monthly general reading for May 2019. I'm using the Tarot of Dreams to pull a major uh, arcana card for you this month, and this represents the theme of your month, and you have the star coming out, which is a beautiful energy. I love this energy. I'm also using the Madame Andorra, and I will be pulling an oracle from the Goddess deck, and I will also be using the Fairy oracle as well. We have Winds of Change coming through here for you, and I will be doing your tarot reading with the Morgan Greer Tarot deck. And as always, I will be pulling two life purpose cards oh, at the end of your reading. Let me grab this. Okay. Sorry about that. We have Diana, focused intention coming out here. And she wanted to just make her way out on the table. <laughs> All right, Cancer. Let's pull a fairy oracle. Looking really nice already, Cancer. All right. We have wisdom coming out here. Give me just a moment, Cancer, to get all of your cards laid out. Please excuse me. I have a fan going. All right, and please keep in mind, I have my little fur babies. They're over here on their bed. If they get up and move around, please just bear with me. And Cancer, please keep in mind, I do daily and weekly readings as well. If you'd like to go and check those out, that would be awesome. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. And we are ready. All right, Cancer. Your situation of the month is the Four of Wands. Crossing you, the Two of Pentacles. And your foundation, the Magician. Recent past, we have the King of Swords. We have the Fool as your crowning energy. New circumstance, we have temperance coming through here. What you need to know about your situation is the Five of Cups. Your environment is the Six of Pentacles. Your advice is the Seven of Cups. And your outcome is the Three of Swords. All right. So see a lot of healing that's going to be taking place for you this month. I do want to go ahead and clarify a couple of these for you, Cancer. Give me just a moment, you guys. All right, I want to clarify the Five of Cups in the position spirit of what Cancer needs to know. Okay, what is this Five of Cups? The chariot coming through here. This is your card, Cancer. And I do want to clarify the three of swords as the outcome energy. Wow, and these cards are wanting to talk. We have the five of swords coming up here. Okay. All right, Cancer. Let's go ahead and let's take a look. All right, this is your theme for the month. This is the energy of Aquarius. This is all about meditation, um, having and, and gaining spiritual guidance, having a sense of freedom, um, gaining in intellectual wisdom as well. Uh, this is all about healing, allowing the universe to, to heal you as well. Um, this can also represent going after a dream, something that you want, uh, wish fulfillment as well. So, very positive energies. Now, we have the winds of change coming through here. Your surroundings will undergo transition. 
Uh, this is kind of like mind energy, air energy that's coming through here. You may be looking at a person or a situation in a different way, uh, possibly. And it could, some of you could literally be moving house. Uh, you could be changing jobs or careers as well. All right. Now, we have Diana coming out here with focused intention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target, and you will make your mark. Now, what's interesting about this cancer is you do have the magician in your foundation, and this is what's driving you this month. These are the same intentions right here. So you have a lot of focused intent on what it is that you're wanting to manifest or create in your life. Now we have the wisdom card coming through here. Your divine inner wisdom is always available to you. I really do feel like this is a month where maybe going within, doing some time of meditation and introspection, um, maybe before making a decision or moving forward is going to be needed for you, Cancer. Now, we do have the energy of the Four of Wands coming up here as your current situation. I love the Four of Wands energy. This is all about joy, freedom, happiness, family, being content, having uh, maybe a home or that stability and security, something that's built on a strong and firm foundation. Uh, I feel like your family and your home life is very important to you, uh, Cancer. Now, we do have the Two of Pentacles crossing you. This could be a challenge. Uh, this is balancing, being very flexible, juggling, um, having a lot on your plate, okay? Uh, there could be a decision that needs to be made as well this month, Cancer. This can be very significant in your life. Um, but you're doing everything gracefully. Now, this could be a situation where... You know, you do have so much on your plate since this is in your crossing position that you need to make a decision to maybe uh, lighten the load a little bit is what Spirit's telling me. Now, you're going to be working very, very hard on manifesting and moving forward uh, with the Magician coming through here. This is the, uh, the energy of Gemini and Virgo. Uh, the ruler of Mercury. So this is you using all of the elements, um, all of the tools that are at your disposal to manifest, set this focused intention on what it is that you're wanting to complete, what you're wanting to move forward on this month. And you guys being very strong at manifesting in the month of May, Cancer. So be very careful about what you think about. Make sure it's positive. Because, it, you know, most of we all know this. Whatever you're thinking about, whatever you have your mind set on, what you're focused on, is most likely what will come about in your situation. So be mindful that it's positive and it, it's something that's going to bring something to the table that's going to benefit you in a positive way. Now we have the King of Swords coming up here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The King of Swords is very just. Uh, he's very assertive. He's very direct. Uh, he can be analytical at times. Um, he does not wear his emotions on his sleeves. Uh, he's holding the sword of truth there. He's going to speak his truth. Now, with this energy coming up here, Cancer, I feel like uh, some of you have spoken your truth. Um, this could be with maybe work-related. This could be a family situation as well where you had to be honest. And sometimes speaking a truth can be hurtful or painful, but it still has to be said, right? Uh, just be mindful in how you express this energy. Now, for others of you, this is you using logic and reason on being able to move forward possibly in a current situation um, and not allowing your emotions to make decisions for you. You using your, uh, your mind and, and your intellect to make decisions. Now, we have the full crowning you. This is what you know 
And this is a beautiful energy. This reminds me of innocence. This is the new journey that you are fixing to, you know, you or you already have taken off on. This is about having a free spirit. And the most beautiful thing I find about this card is that you are trusting in the universe to take a leap of faith. You're trusting your intuition, Cancer, to move you forward and to guide you. And I love this. So many of you have a new journey. You know, this is going to resonate in, you know, many different areas of you guys' life. And they could be, you know, in different areas. It's not going to be the same for everyone. Now, this could be a career change. This could be moving. Some of you could literally be moving to uh, another state, another town, uh, for a, the reason of changing your careers. Um, now, we do have the temperance coming up here as the new circumstance. Uh, this is the spiritual alchemical card. Uh, this is the energy of Sagittarius coming through here. Uh, I love temperance. This is all about having balanced relationships. This is all about having freedom, yet maybe you're not committed yet as well. This is believing in yourself, having self-belief. This is having that fire and passion and that combination to move forward with what it is that you're wanting to create. Uh, I feel like for many of you, you're setting off on a new journey for this, this wish fulfillment or... or some type of emotional satisfaction here. Now, we do have the Five of Cups in the position of what you need to know about your current situation this month. And I did clarify it with the Chariot, which is your energy, Cancer. The Five of Cups is an energy that can represent a feeling of loss or disappointment, maybe regret or confusion. Um, and, and so I feel like when it comes to this, because these two are linked, that possibly, you know, all you can see is what's been spilled here. You don't see, you're refusing to turn around and see the other two cups that are still standing here. You have opportunities here. Uh, I feel like there's a loss or maybe regret in a decision that you had to make. Um... But you're going to move full speed ahead because we do have the chariot clarifying it, which is you, Cancer. And this is being victorious. You're going to you're going to be victorious over this energy here. With whatever this is you're trying to focus your intention on, you're going to take a step back and have that understanding and have this divine inner wisdom that's going to take place. And you're going to move forward. You're going to use strength. You, you know, this is all about having that happiness and knowing where you're going, and that type of energy. So you do have a foresight of where you're headed, what this new beginning is, Cancer, uh, for you. And you're going to be victorious at it and successful moving towards it and gaining what it is that you're wanting. Now, we do have in your environment these six of pentacles coming through here. This is a an energy of generosity, the willingness to give and to receive uh, gifts from the universe, from others, and giving and consideration of others as well. Now, with it being in your environment, I feel like something, I, justice is coming through to me right now. I feel like there has been a truth or, or something that needed to be balanced, the scales of justice is coming through here, and it, I feel like there's equality coming through, something equal, uh, you know, especially with this new circumstance of temperance coming through here, this is all about balance and uh, equal opportunities and relationships, and I feel like with this being in your uh, environment position that there has been a balance that's been struck here. Now, this can represent as well as you extending a gift or someone extending a gift to you, vice versa, uh, in maybe finances. Uh, this could be a loan coming in, possibly for a home as well, with the Four of Wands being in your, you know, as your current situation. Uh, many of you could be manifesting, could have had that focused intention. This is what you want to get that home loan, to be able to get the house that you want. Uh, I see that you know and it may not even be a home it could be a car as well with the chariot coming through here 
But whatever this is, it's going to be different from it for everyone it's very positive and it's going to benefit not only you but whoever is in your environment or your home now your advice from the universe is the seven of cups i, I feel like the universe is telling you cancer ha believe in yourself you have many opportunities on the table okay uh the seven of cups can represent sometimes too much of a choice or wishful thinking but you know the universe spirits telling me right now that you guys have many opportunities to manifest what it is that you're wanting and that what you desire now I feel like with the three of swords making its appearance here as your outcome uh, I feel like for many of you this is a timing card three days three weeks three months um, I do feel like with it coming through in that way, you're, you're going to feel a little bit upset or um, angry about it, uh, the waiting period possibly. Uh, maybe you're wanting things to move at a faster pace, but the universe, you know, when things happen, it, it happens in its own timing, okay? Divine timing is at play here, you guys. And... I know cancer you can see that the wish that that dream or the opportunity and you have foresight you know on it but good things you know sometimes what is that saying I'm, I'm uh, trying to remember here good things come to those who wait you know uh, that type of energy here now with this clarifying the three of swords the, the, the five of swords is sometimes a feeling of defeat. Uh, this could be a hollow victory as well or conflicting interests. Uh, this could be an inner battle or inner struggle with yourself because of this timing. Now, for others of you, this isn't about timing. Uh, you are having a feeling possibly of getting to the heart of the matter of the situation the the three of swords don't always have to be that loss or that that wounded uh type energy now for some of you yes this could be uh the energy uh possibly that some of you could be feeling i feel like for the majority of you you're getting to the heart of the matter of a situation cancer something that has to be dealt with and i feel like with the energy of the king of swords in your recent past you had to speak up and speak some truth that may have been unpleasant, possibly to someone else, and they didn't like it. Um, that could have caused, you know, some of this uh, conflict that's coming through here as well with the Five of Swords. Now, I really do feel like this is a very positive reading. Um... I feel like, and you know, with, with these readings, I want everybody to understand, because I get all the time, I'm not going through this situation, or, <clears throat> excuse me, or, you know, I am uh, going through some a situation like this, but I, I get a lot of questions about, is there something I can do about, you know, an outcome? And, and you know, you guys, I, I just want everybody to keep in mind, and this is why I love tarot. It's not that this is set. This is by no means a set deal of what's going to happen. This gives you an idea and can foretell many different directions that you can take along your path, Cancer. Um, maybe to avoid the Three of Swords or the king of swords and the five of swords energy of maybe having a conflict so I, I hope that made sense to you i just wanted to clarify that a little bit more you know yeah i guess what i'm trying to say is sometimes this can help you keep something from escalating okay all right cancer i'm going to go ahead and pull uh, two life purpose cards for you this is a beautiful reading you guys um you guys really are focused. You, you're wanting something. You're wanting stability. You're wanting this new beginning, this fresh start. And I do feel like that for many of you, it's not happening the way as quickly as you would like it. All right. We have flowers coming out here. 
Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. <coughs> Please excuse me, you guys. The allergies are just so bad where I live. Please excuse me. We have writing coming out here. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. Very nice. All right, you guys. So I love all of you, Cancer. Um, please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your life or resonating for you. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Cancer.